G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo here. Great to see you all again. We've uh, been asked a question by our mate Mark. G'day Marco Polo, bonjourno, um, about spacings and spannings of different timbers. So there's a difference between a spacing and a spanning. The span is the distance that timber can travel without being supported underneath. The spacing is how far between they need to be positioned. So what I've got here is a subfloor system that we're working on and it's going to be perfect to explain all of this. Step this way Marco Polo. Here what we've got is our stumps, one, two, three, and these are spaced at between 15 and 1800 for this type of timber which is KD Hardwood F17. The span is the distance between these two stumps. So the span is between 15 and 18. Then if we go the other way, and we look down our site, then we've got one bearer, two bearers, three bearers, four bearers. Now these bearers are all spaced apart from each other, and they're all spaced at 1800. Then we've got our joist system here, and our joist system is again KD hardwood. Our KD between our bearer system can only span what is allowed in the Australian standards and tables. So check those out for the right timber. Treated pine is completely different to hardwood. So have a look at what timber you're using before you span certain sections. So here we've got a hardwood span between the bearers and then I have spaced these out in accordance. So these now, these are our joists and our joist system is now spaced at 450 centers. So where I've got our spacing and we've got our spanning. Again, our stumps are spaced and then we've got our bearer that spans it. Here we're able to see where our spacings are for our bearers and then our span of our joist. So our joist is spanning from bearer to bearer. Our bearer itself is spanning from stump to stump. So we've got our span and we've got our spacings. Here you can see our spacings between each of these joists are 450. There's a couple that are a little bit closer, but they're 450 spacing. So they're spacing and spanning. So in a nutshell, all different types of timbers have different spannings and spacings in their regulations that we're allowed to use and depending on the purpose of what we're using the timber for. So check the Australian standards or check your standards in general and wherever you live. Um, have a look at the timbers that you're using and make sure you follow those. Very important to understand. It gives us the ability to um, position our timbers correctly and end what we're using the structure for and to build it structurally adequate for that. If you've got any other questions or queries, thanks Marco Polo, I appreciate that question. If you've got any other questions or queries, flick them over and um, I'll answer them for you. Thanks for watching.